India has 18% population of the world. Fresh water availability is just 4%. We have a lot of traditional water bodies which we call micro watersheds. So when the water is available, preserve it. We have tried to instill the spirit, tried to instill the message in each individual's heart and mind that you have to save water. Since ancient times, Indian rulers and ordinary people held natural elements like sun, air and water sacred. The ancients worked hard to conserve water. They invested tremendous amount of time and money in creating water tanks, ponds and buns. But today, one of the biggest crisis points is related to water. Flash floods and droughts, climate change and water shortages make frequent headlines. So you want to teach anybody value for water? Show drought. Show shortage. There's a gradual depletion of groundwater. So water harvesting, rainwater, preserving water is very, very vital. Recognizing the emerging water flashpoint, National Bank for Agriculture and Rural Development, or NABAD, has launched a country-wide water campaign. If you look at the water resources, sustainable water future for Puducherry, 139% of the groundwater is already exploited. And there are no major rivers. As a result, a lot of seawater integration, which will jeopardize both agriculture and also the fishermen livelihood. Here in Puducherry, they have begun a water initiative in 26 villages. By pulling in huge number of supporters who crisscross the village with banners and posters that inform everyone about water-related problems and ways in which to tackle them, Nabad has managed to draw attention to centrality of water as a vital issue of today's time. We have almost around 543 ponds in our, it's all our ancestor built that bond. For long periods, we are not properly maintaining it. Nabad are supporting for renovating all our water bodies. By undertaking extensive chat sessions, Nabad informs and educates the villagers who slowly become their stakeholders and activists. These activists in turn pollinate the key messages to other villages through street corner meetings, community congregations and folk songs. The fully informed and trained villagers volunteer to become Jaldoots or water warriors who carry forward the water initiative and make the village fully self-reliant in water solutions. Karakal is the granary of Pondicherry actually. The French people selected Karakal just because it gave all the food grains for their purpose. Now we are it's, it's a revamping the, all the old water bodies where French people given to us. Seemingly, Puducherry has a lot of water, but proximity to seacoast and salinity means that fresh drinking water is in short supply. By creating drinking water supply systems, Nabad has tried to fulfill this requirement of the villagers too. Without water, there's no agriculture. And without agriculture, there's no food. You go hungry. That is where awareness is very vital, by local administration. And local administration includes banks. Local administration includes every public servant. Local administration includes panchayats. When there's abundance, don't understand the value of it. Even if there's abundance, to value the abundance. For accelerating the growth of village economy through rural infrastructure, National Bank for Agriculture and Rural Development, or NABAD, has launched a rejuvenation of 20 tanks and 32 village ponds for climate change adaptation in Puducherry. The main objective of the project is to deepen the tanks as well as the ponds to store more water inside the tank so that the water, stored water can be used for cultivation and to erection of recharge borewells. We feel that the climate change adaptation or soil and water conservation needs to be on a community ownership basis. Unless community should be center of our, all our interventions, community should be on board. Clearly, need-based development that is scientifically designed 
and thoughtful training and financing models that help people to stand on their own feet can go a long way to turn challenges into opportunities and solutions. We reached out to around one sixth of villages of the country. We used Krishi Jal Juts, 8,000 of them. We had uh, some non governmental organizations supporting us, banks supporting us, government departments supporting us. The water campaign was kicked up by some of the water ministers in various states. So, water theme rocks.